Hi everyone, this is a review of 8 New Better Homes and Gardens Holiday 2022 Wax Melts at Walmart. Now they did come out with uh, with another set of Better Homes and Gardens Holiday Wax Melts maybe uh, that are starting to trickle in maybe about a week or two ago. They are with the uh, the tall the tall clamshells that look like this, which I already I already reviewed these. So these particular ones, unlike most of the Better Homes and Gardens wax melts that look like this, the regular two two point five ounce clamshell, uh, these are made by a candle company called Candle Light. That's Candle dash L I T E. Normally these are made by Rimports the same company that makes Sensational's wax melts, which you can also find at Walmart and other stores. Better Homes and Gardens is a Walmart brand only. And because there are so many new manufacturers, I guess, making uh, making the Better Homes and Gardens melts, you can tell who actually manufactures them by looking at the UPC code. So Candlelight's UPC codes start with a zero. And you look at that little tiny number, not not this first, not this first, uh, the little tiny number that's all the way to the left. See that says zero? That means that this was manufactured by candlelight. But even if you're not sure about that, inside, and these don't, not all these say this, but inside these particular ones, now, I'm, oh gosh, I can't read this at all. Oh, there we go. Okay. I couldn't see that. You can see, oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Well, you have to, you almost need glasses. You see this second to the last small line. It says, for customer service, please email info at candle-light.com. You might need a magnifying glass to see that. So you know that these are made by candlelight. Uh, and before I get to the reviews, just to show you how to tell the manufacturer by the UPC code, the first number for the UPC codes for Rimports Anything that Rimports makes, whether it's Sensationals, whether it's Oak and Rye, whether it's Better Homes and Gardens for Walmart, we'll, we'll start with an 8. The little tiny number to the very left of the UPC code will always be 8. See how this says Sensationals, and then here's even an old, an old clamshell for Better Homes and Gardens that was made by Rimports, and you see it says 8. Now... MVP Group is the company that makes mainstays. Their mainstays wax melts have a seven in the front. And also if MVP Group is making Better Homes and Gardens, basically whatever they make for the most part, although I'm not sure. I know I know the Better Homes and Gardens and the mainstays, they have a little seven in the front. So, but I think they also make something else for Walmart that has a different number. I'm not really sure. So, so the seven... In the front is for MVP Group. The 8 in the front is for Rimports. The 0 in the front is for Candlelight. So that's how you know who the manufacturer is. So getting back to these particular wax melts, I was very pleasantly surprised that, despite the different manufacturer, Candlelight, in general, these scents smell fantastic and everyone has a strong throw, which doesn't really happen that often. Even the wax is the same consistency as wax that you get like from like Rimport wax. It's just regular, normal, hard wax. You really cannot tell the difference. I, I could not tell the difference. I I've had some issues with candlelight brand wax melts not throwing well in the past and smelling a bit generic. But I think because these wax, uh, wax melts are a Walmart brand, Better Homes and Gardens, Walmart dictates the scents and the quality. And in this case, they did a fantastic job because these, again, very pleasantly surprised that these are actually fantastic. I don't necessarily like every, every single scent, but that's going to be the case with, with any brand, any manufacturer. So uh, I've heard some people say, oh, I'm not going to buy these because they're not made by Rimport. Or, oh, I don't like candlelight. I, they, they're terrible. They don't throw well. And I kind of, I guess I kind of was a little bit judgmental that way as well. But believe me, these are actually fantastic. 
Um, so I'm going to get started on the actual reviews now. So I will get started with Candy Cane and Citrus. And I love that they put the notes on the label now. Now it's probably not all of their notes, but it's the main ones. So, and again, if you've never seen my reviews, um, I don't look at the scent notes, or I try not to look at the scent notes until after I've done the review because I don't want to be swayed by what I think they should smell like. So candy cane and citrus, the notes are peppermint, vanilla, winter spice, citrus, and woodland berry. I recognized the scent as soon as I smelled it, and I realized it smells a lot like Goose Creek Candle Christmas Magic, but with some subtle differences. This smells like hard peppermint candies with a bit of cinnamon and a hint of milky vanilla. Even though they're very similar, the Goose Creek scent doesn't have that cinnamon in it, but it's a fantastic scent. And, and I, I wish I could describe it more, like, like tell you more about it, but that's just basically it. It smells like hard peppermint candies with cinnamon. Now, today I'm smelling it and I'm smelling more of the cinnamon. So it might actually be like an equal, an equal blend of peppermint and cinnamon, possibly. And looking at the notes, I'm not getting citrus or berry. This is a fantastic scent. I love this scent. I adore this scent. And the throw is strong. Four out of five would do well in a large room, like 100 to 300 square feet. Next is Fireside Fur and Amber. Don't know why it's a light pink. Notes are smoked fur, white birch, suede, teakwood, white amber, and cypress. This is another fantastic scent of pine with hickory smoke and a hint of black pepper. It's very rich and salty, but it also has just a smidgen of barely noticeable like softness and sweetness, although it's not perfumey at all. It's not perfumey, it's not cologne anything like that. But it, but it could have a hint of bergamot way in the background that gives sense of cologne note. But again, it's not a cologne type scent. Another scent that I absolutely adore. Looking at the notes, they're spot on. And the throw on this one is bold. Five out of five. This took over the entire house. Fantastic scent. Next is peppered lavender. Notes are lavender, peppercorn, cedarwood, amber, and bergamot. I'm definitely getting lavender first. It's a bit sweet, but not a typical perfumey sweet lavender. There's also a milky woodsy note that smells more like sandalwood than cedar, as well as a little bit of a fresh, very slightly soapy note, and maybe a barely detectable smidgen of citrus, such could be lemon, barely. Uh, looking at the notes, the citrus is, oh, well, that's interesting because they actually do have, if you look on the label, they're like the little lemons on the right hand side, even though there's no lemons, that's interesting, no lemon in the notes, but there's lemons on the side of the label, label. so maybe that's, again, very, just barely detectable. Um, looking at the notes, the citrus may be bergamot, which is a citrusy note that's added to scents to give them a little bit of a cologne type note, although this scent is not cologne at all. I do get a tiny bit of the peppery note as well, but it's more of an herbal pepper rather than a black pepper. And I no longer have the scent to compare, but I think it's very similar to Dee Dee Lavender and Oakwood from Hobby Lobby. I believe, I could be wrong, but I do kind of recognize, like it's, it, it smells like what I remember that Dee Dee Lavender and Oakwood scent smelled like. So I think it might be similar to that one. I like this scent and it's strong. Throw is strong. Four out of five would do well in a large sized room. Next is Redberry Champagne. Notes are nectar, grapefruit, redberries, ginger, and champagne. This is a lip puckeringly sour, lemony grapefruit with a bit of like a yuzu which is a pungent, tart, bitter grapefruit type note, and a little bit of that weird fermentation note that a lot of wine type scents tend to have, which I'm sure is a champagne. On cold sniff, I kind of like it, and I thought I'd like it as it started to melt, but I'm not a fan. The sour note has, and it is very sour, the sour note has kind of almost like a gasoline vibe to it. I mean, it's not quite that bad, but I can't figure out how else to describe it. It's sour, but it's like a peppery herbal sour, like arugula, not a vinegary salad type sour. 
or it's maybe satsuma, which is a pungent sour orange type fruit, but it's extra sour and not really in a good way. I've described some other scents in the past as having that sour, sour, slightly lemony, slightly gasoline note, including Aldi Lemon and Sage and Better Homes and Gardens Tropical Island Dream. And someone else said that this scent smelled like brewing beer, not like a glass of beer, but like the smell of the actual brewing, which I don't know what that smells like. This does not smell like beer to me. But if someone said it smelled like brewing beer, then it's probably not that great. <laughs> Looking at the notes, I'm not getting nectar at all. This scent is barely sweet. I'm not getting berry. I'm not getting ginger. And the sourness, I guess, is from the combination of grapefruit and champagne. Again, there might be other notes in this other than what's on the label. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I mixed it with something sweet or maybe even something more citrusy, it might smell better. But it's just too sour on its own. And the throw is strong, four out of five. Next is salted, salted caramel and macaron. Not macaroon, they're two different things. Notes are salted caramel, brown sugar, maple, butterscotch, vanilla cream, and sea salt. On cold stiff, this smells amazing. It's a toothachingly sweet, decadent combination of butterscotch, caramel, and maple syrup. The gooey kind that would go on top of ice cream, but with a little bit of brown sugar. When melted, it's just a caramely cookie scent. It's still nice, but it loses that super sweet, super buttery richness that I smell on cold sniff, making it more like a generic cookie scent. If it had retained those other notes, this one would probably be hoard worthy. Again, it's still a nice scent, but not but it's not it's not unlike other similar scents. And the scent weakened considerably in under three hours. So it is a nice scent, but it's not really all that special throw is medium like a three out of five would do well in a medium sized room like 30 to 100 square feet this is sugar cookie and buttercream and the notes are sugar cookies buttercream vanilla bean orange zest and sugar crystal and this is uh, a sweet vanilla sugar cookie scent with just the barest hint of orange. It's not even nearly orangey enough to be like an orange buttercream or orange creamsicle type scent. I mean, it's very, very subtle. It's a yummy scent, a little bit basic. Uh, but then again, I smell so many different wax melts. So I guess I'm like kind of jaded. I mean, I just sniffed it again. It is, it is really, really nice. But when you've smelled like hundreds, thousands of wax melts, you do start to get a little bit jaded. Again, um, nice scent otherwise the throw is strong like a four out of five would do well in a large sized room next is sugared plum and pomegranate notes are sugared plum pink pomegranate fig clove cedarwood and patchouli now if you're hoping for anything sugared in this scent you might be disappointed but if you're looking for something different from anything you've smelled before this is the scent when I smelled it on cold sniff, I did not like it at all. So I didn't get any sugar. I'm not getting sugar. I'm not getting plum. I'm not getting pomegranate or really anything fruity. What I am getting, however, is fig, which is not a common wax smelt scent. And usually fig scents don't smell like fig at all. Now, again, I, I, real figs are sweet and fruity. Fig notes and candles and wax melts are... Well, pretty much just like this scent. Uh, earthy, slightly cedary, maybe slightly mildewy, almost like a root vegetable, like beets or something, which sounds terrible, but actually smells pretty good. Just so different. It's just a little sweet, and I'm getting a tiny bit of floral, which comes out a little bit more after it's been melting for a few hours. I'm also getting just a smidgen of fruit, very subtle, but no plum or pomegranate per se. It also has a tiny bit of like a whiskey type note, although it's not savory, sour, bittery, bitter or vinegary. It doesn't have that odd fermentation note that a lot of wine type scents tend to have. Just like, like I said, that tiny bit of a whiskey note. Looking at the notes, I'm not getting clove or patchouli at all, but there's the cedar wood that I'm smelling. I mean, I do, I do like it. I don't love it, although because it's so different, I can't stop smelling it. 
but I think it would make a great mixer to tone down fruity or floral scents that are too sweet or to add like a unique twist to a woodsy or even a pine scent. I think it has a lot of, a lot of possibilities for blending. So this one is a keeper pretty much just for that reason. It can be blended to create all kinds of unique and interesting scents. And the throw is bold, five out of five. This one took over the entire house. So this one is, despite the odd scent, this one's pretty darn good. And last we have white peppermint and mocha. Notes are peppermint, coffee, sugar cane, frothed milk, whipped cream, and candy cane. I didn't think I'd like this one on cold sniff because the combination of coffee and peppermint smelled a bit odd to me on cold sniff, but melted, it's fantastic. It's a nice minty sweet peppermint with a hint of mocha chocolate and coffee the coffee differentiates it from other chocolate peppermint scents it's more pepperminty than mocha it's not a super coffee type scent it's just nice and different like i said it's like it's like peppermint with a little bit of chocolate and that little bit of coffee that just makes it a little different and the throw is strong four out of five would do well in a large room so there you have it those are the four new better homes and gardens holiday 2022 cents from walmart made by candlelight and if you want to read a text version of this review just go to waxmeltreviews.com and feel free to join our facebook group where we where we discuss all different brands and scents of store-bought and retail wax melts and you can find the link to our facebook group underneath this video and on our website at waxmeltreviews.com have a good day